you're still watching ways now if you're tired of um february 28th it might be because or on this day rather it might be because today is national public sleeping day it encourages a midday nap right where you are it is a day for anyone and everyone to take a nap on a blanket at the beach at the park in the movie theater on a bus train subway or any other public place that may work for you however it may not be a good idea to take that nap <laughs> on your desk during work. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you sleep at work today. <laughs> mm, now that would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did it, but I felt like sleeping. I was so tired. So, uh, like today, I've been yawning. I think it's the rain. I've been yawning and yawning. But guess what? I have a certain kind of clock in my system, so my mm -hmm. friends know me. Yeah. Once is like maybe twelve to like one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, wherever I am. My and eyes are shutting down. Even if you slept the I'm morning. telling you, I just shut down my eyes. So even if it's just like 20 minutes, mm -hmm. by the time I, by, I open my eyes back, I'm, I'm refreshed. If I don't oh, do that, it's like, hour, I'm telling you, no, 20 power minutes. Power 20, that's a power nap. Yeah, power nap. So like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and I'm good. But it, my eyes must just start to shut down. I can't control it. <laughs> you know, honestly, I find this day really interesting. I'm like, National Sleeping Day. <laughs> and to think that people, I saw pictures, people were actually observing it. Like sleeping on the staircase, just sleeping ah, all around. But please be careful, like, Corona. Cor <laughs> Let's not sleep anywhere. Just... <laughs> Come on. Sleeping is safe. I enjoy sleeping and, you know, um, it's like a hobby. Sleeping is a hobby for, for me. For, really? It, it is, yes. It's just that when you say it outside, people start judging you. I'm but judging when you. When I have, hold on, <laughs> when I have nothing doing, I, en I enjoy sleeping because it's like I sleep and then I wake up and every You're I, I read, I read first of all and then I sleep, which makes it even more interesting because every everything I read now we know why plays around so in beautiful. my head. Yeah. Like I remember it, I dream <laughs> about it. And then when I wake up, it's like it's stabilized in my mind, yeah. you know, in my heart. Yeah, That's lovely. I enjoy sleeping. You make sleep sound so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> sleeping all right, so uh, we're going to start with NASA because uh, as I said earlier, this weekend, you know, it's corona all the way and mm, we're yeah. trying to see how we can thrash certain things you know and raise awareness yeah. from our team on ways right. so Ch nasa what did you find for us today okay uh my story is from the daily post and it's a bit of an interesting one considering right so mm. the government is apparently prioritizing border control measures as a means of checkmating um the importation of coronavirus as they say and so this was at an emergency press briefing with yeah. the Minister of Health, mm -hmm. and this struck me because this ha didn't just happen. Like we've all been talking about coronavirus since like January, in fact, December. So apparently, they've identified that the most likely entry is air travel, and so that's where the critical, the focus would be on. Yeah. Again, this is not a surprise. I don't know why it's urgent. I don't know why it's an emergency brief press briefing that they're now realizing that they need to put um, measure controls. Yeah, in I place. read the. I think I read the. Uh, sorry, I watched the minister mm -hmm. of health. You know, he was talking about it that there's no point because truly, um, he was making reference to Ebola when Ebola came into Nigeria. It was mm -hmm. through, you know, the ports. Air like travel. so, they are likely, you know, so that we don't waste um, resources on. I understand, but yeah. what I'm saying, why is why are they just prioritizing? Why, why did they wait for coronavirus to come to then prioritize? My, my but we all saw this coming. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like, this is reactionary, absolutely. So that maybe this person would not even have come in if we had mm -hmm. actually prioritized. So that's my problem. It's so reactionary. I think let's just quickly listen to the minister and let's hear what okay. he, yeah what he said earlier. Closely with the World Health Organization. Uh, what I advise just now is that people should keep a social distance. If someone is coughing or has sneezing, uh, let them stay at least six feet away. If you have coughing and you have a chronic cough, stay home. Don't go to crowded areas. Don't go and mix with people and start coughing around the place because there is a risk of uh, being able to send droplets into the air. Yeah, I think this video he was referring to keeping social distance and like measures, preventive measures. Right. And Sansi, right. you, have, you have a story that is a bit linked to that. Yes, um, obviously, like you said, everything uh, this week is just about my timeline today was about sensitization, you know, coronavirus, like we did not see it coming. However, my story is from the Punch newspaper, um, US CDC, that's United States Center for Disease Control, put out a warning. This is particularly for men, uh, bird gang. So he is saying that in order to like fully protect yourself, some of you with the bed, you know, the long ones, 
you might have to shave it because if your bed is such that um, the the face mask cannot doesn't cover it, mm. then you might have to shave it off. Because remember this, you know, you might have people Catch spit on you and yeah. then it's it, it stuck it and then you yeah, a partner or someone just gives you a hug and it goes through. So sad news for people who have been raising, you know, wearing their <laughs> beds <laughs> since, <laughs> since, since five no, years. No beard gang about. until coronavirus is no. gone. Yeah. <laughs> but once you cite a beard gang, just keep, there, yeah, wait. keep your dislikes. <laughs> we're not friends, yeah. not, not today. <laughs> so, uh, well, corona is taking over the weekend mm -hmm. and my story is also from business day right um they tweeted you know hand sanitizers running out in lagos as price surge um they worry after the italian uh, man came into nigeria with the coronavirus and this has happened and he wasn't isolated for 48 hours you know i think it was after 48 hours he, he traveled by yeah, air yeah all the people on that plane in Where fact i listened in on the minister they said no not the minister now i think it was the governor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of Lagos State saying that he went to what's this oh, the place now? Governor, Ewekoro, Ewekoro, yes. He went to Ewekoro. So they have all they are tracing mm -hmm. and trailing him mm -hmm. to ensure that or anybody that he was in contact with they are also being monitored and all of that. Well, how do you, how did well, you get know, to Nigeria? The people on the plane. No, my my problem they is... They are going to trace all of them. They have the manifesto. Know. Before oh, wow. now, we've seen what's happening in Wuhan and other parts of the world yep. where uh, we've, there have been uh, cases of victims. We know uh, the signs and symptoms. We know it takes up to 14 days to manifest. And then people just get down from an airline and you let them go. In fact, I was making it. I was telling you, guys, you ladies, in, place. in the makeup room, I was telling you, ladies, my sister works with expert rates. So they are, mm -hmm. they are actually Chinese. Yeah. You know, so I'm worried, right? and I guess what? <laughs> guess what? It is so it's so sad when they came into co the the country. Mm -hmm. Nobody stopped them, but because That's of their terrible. own personal responsibility, they stayed home to their staff and to everyone. They said to the, my because my sister is like the head of the company. They told mm -hmm. her that they will stay at home. You know, for 14 days to ensure oh, wow. that they are They're fine before they come wow. come to work. So nothing it was there, human. yeah. That's what so I think, think. So I think human, even for us so now, nice. we should start demanding. So if you have expert rates in your company, if you know that they have traveled, mm -hmm. you know wherever they if just. Tell them stay away for a bit. It's, I mean, let's have a human approach to Absolutely. this yeah. because yeah. we already know that our government, if we leave certain things to them, fire it will be difficult. You know, it will be difficult minute. for us to, to to solve that problem. True. So let's start making people responsible. Yeah. You know, like them, they didn't. Nobody stopped them at the airport. Wow. So they came into the country, but you know, because of their own personal responsibility and their personal mm -hmm. commitment to their member they of staff, they stayed away. They stayed away. So that's how we should have it as well. So, so sanitizers, sanitizers, you know, I mean, look at it. So you know what happened this morning? Once I heard, I started, so I, I, I don't think I've panicked as much, but I, I started thinking, okay, what do I need to do? And I tried to order the masks and everything. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped. I'm like, okay, how long? This is not sustainable. You know, 20,000 naira for 50 masks that I can't reuse. So oh am I going goodness. to continue to, you know, is this an investment? Are we buying a house? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just great. You know what? We're not going to die. Well, I think, you know, to uh, wrapping up this um, conversation, the truth right. is, I have seen that a lot of Nigerians, the only, they are always reactive. Yeah. You know, you see, when Ebola came, everybody started running health and scattered looking for sanitizers. Practice. When it left, that very day, all the People sanitizers I had stopped. Yeah. Open, I was going to sell off. They are still there. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you understand? It so it has, it has come to meet Corona now. Mm -hmm. But my point is, mm -hmm. let us imbibe that culture of hygiene, personal hygiene. Absolutely. Right. And let's be conscious of a lot of things. So, I mean, let's not wait until a virus comes to tell us that Before we have we start to, be, to practice. Yeah, we have to practice. Yeah. yeah. I agree. So, I agree. Yes. Absolutely. All right. So, um... Moving away from coronavirus, Dr. Blaise Hijabot joins us right after the break.